Good morning. Thank God for bringing us here this morning. May God's name be praised in Jesus' name. Actually, in the night, I wanted to come for podcasts in the night. But I I wasn't getting the topic and I was already very, very tired. So I said, God, I want to lie down. Please give me the topic. When you give me the topic, I'll stand up. That's how I slept off. <laughs> and by the time I woke up this morning, I got the topic. And um, I'm like, God, does it mean you wanted me to sleep? <laughs> Maybe God saw I was tired already and I needed to rest. That was why it didn't give me the topic. But thank God in his perfect plan, I have the topic now. Even though when God gave me this topic, I'm like, God, it's not clear enough. <laughs> it's not very, very clear enough. But I know God will still use it for his glory. He's the one that knows his reason or reasons for giving me this topic. And we use it for his glory. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for today again that we are here to speak about your words. We are here to, to speak on your words. Is that the English? We are here to 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 speak your word. Yeah. We are here to speak your word. Your words. Thank you, Jesus. Please be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to, to know you. Thank you for the grace to the dev- to devote myself to you, to dedicate myself to you and to the work of God. Because if not, I wouldn't be getting these messages out to people from God with the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, Lord, thank you for this grace that you used in my life. I said I want to be for the Lord. And you approved it. You made me yours. You told me to the Lord. You accepted me. Thank you, Lord, for the grace to continue to manifest the glory of God far and wide. Please be magnified in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you are here. Please have your way. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Teach me and help me to teach. And also teach people. I'm just a vessel. A vessel that wants to be used by God. And then God is using. Please God, put your words in my mouth. I want to believe this topic is for somebody in particular because... I have not been talking about things like this in the past. I want to believe the topics you are giving me now, they are specific to some set of people. Almighty Father, let the word that is going out, let it do what you are sending it out to do. In the name of Jesus, let it make people to surrender. Let me make people to surrender out to you. Let people say, Lord, I will always be yours. In the name of Jesus. Have your will, Lord. Take control. Take glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yeah. So let's start this way. As soon as I woke up, God said, the topic is, tell it to Jesus, he will hear. (laughs) These topics are, they're not the regular topics we used to do before. 
So I don't understand it, but God understands it. God knows what it means. Tell it to Jesus, he will hear. Tell it to Jesus. All of the sorrows. Tell it to Jesus, he will hear. Only believe him. Trust and receive him. He will receive and comfort thee. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He will hear. Only believe him. Trust and receive him. He will sustain and comfort thee. Amen. Then another Bible passage, Isaiah 40, verse 1 says, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says the Lord. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem. Tell her that her warfare is accomplished. Hmm. You know, anytime I pray and um, I'm speaking this way, I want to believe. That is exactly what God has for somebody. I don't know whom you are. I don't know the person that God has this message for. But this message going out now, I can tell you that it's for somebody. I pray God comforts Whoever that needs this message, we all need it actually. So, <laughs> but I, I, I am also praying that as many that will listen to it and say, "God, this is what I need," I pray that the Lord sends comfort to those parts of your life or of our lives that we really need God to come through. John chapter 16, verse 24. He said, Either to ye have not asked anything. Ask until your joy is full. Let me read it. Either to have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. What is it saying? It's saying, I am always available to listen to you. It's not, it might be that, like, you was yesterday now. <laughs> Why are you asking today again? No, it's not like that. It's, it's that entity that will say, oh, you asked yesterday. You have not asked today. Oh, come and ask today. Oh. You know why? Because we will always need him. The forces of the earth, forces of household battles, forces of jealous friends, forces of Otabinuku. Uh, What's Otabinuku? My enemies are my foes. But let me explain it in a layman's language. Foes is like enemies in another world. But when it's Abinuku, like someone that hates you until they die. <laughs> that just dislikes you until they are dead. That's why many times we pray against them that they should die. And let their wickedness come to an end. There are some people that, no matter, even if you give them the whole world, you give them all your properties, they will still hate you. That is the meaning of Abinoko. Their forces are always out there to say, no, you can't do this. You can't move forward. We are not going to allow you. They keep blocking your ways. You know, there was a time I, I, I was always meeting men and guys, and they say, let's go on date. I said, this is not what is on my mind, though. What is on my mind is I need a job. I want to be financially freedom. Many of them will come boldly from their speech and say, no, I don't, I don't, I can't, I cannot give you job. Don't give a job. 
You know, these are enemies too. Some men are actually enemies of progress. They don't want you to progress. They want you to just stay and be begging them for money every time. Well, as if, if they help you with job and your financial independence, you won't need to beg from them. But they'll say, no, they are not going to, they are not going to help you with job. These are enemies too. Enemies of progress. You just want to see you in that inability state, a state where you are you are you are incapacitated. That is the reason why we have to pray. So even if you prayed yesterday, God gave you the victory. Pray again today. I remember on my Instagram notification yesterday, all from morning to night, I was not looking at the notification because. I know many of them will be negative. And after my night prayers, another notification came in and it was it was negative kind of. The person used STFU. And I know what it means. You see? What is that trying to say? They don't rest. The people that want to make you sad, that want to make you feel bad, they don't rest. They will always want to if one come today, another one will come tomorrow. So that is why we need to pray. Don't rest on your prayers. I think, I don't even know why God is sending out this message. But I think it's an encouragement to us for the year. I'm beginning to see this podcast as salmon. <laughs> Maybe very soon, God will lead me to Jesus' teachings on the, on the mountain. The teachings on the mountain, the Beatitudes. Maybe God will, God will lead me to that. Because I, I was feeling, I was thinking about it when I got this topic. <laughs> Maybe God will lead me to that soon. I'm already seeing it as preaching. Like someone, like real, like it's not, how do I even put it? Like, okay, today is Sunday. Like, yeah, like service salmon you know so that's it the lord is encouraging us today that pray if you pray you will receive it will sustain it will comfort it will encourage it will strengthen in the name of jesus that is his, that is his promise for everything that god has promised i will make you the head and not the tail I will be with you after you have suffered for a while. God wants you to keep reminding him. He will not get tired. That, and about the forces that is contrary or coming against our progress, we need to tell God about them. We need to let God know, Father Lord, you promised me greatness. Look at what is happening. Look at the forces that is arising against me. So today... God, is, God wants us to know that one of the ways he can fulfill his plans for us is through prayers. Don't just stay in your corner and say, it will happen. Yes, God can make it happen, but he also wants us to pray. So if you have been the type that just say, that just being your problems and say God knows about it. Yes, God knows about it. But he wants you to pray. He wants you to tell him to take it away. There was those times of being worried, of being depressed, of talk, talk with friends. They was it to pray. They was it to tell God. They was it to remind God of his promise. Father, you promised me. You said I will be the earth. You said I will not be the tear. You said I will not borrow. You said I will give to nations and I will not borrow. Father, what is happening? Please change this situation. We know about the story of Jabez. He said that Jabez called on the name of the Lord. And the Lord heard him. Uh, the psalmist says, In the day that I cried, then my enemies shall turn back. That I cried unto the Lord. You know? He said cried, actually, but I know he's cried unto the Lord. So what is he saying? He's saying that 
as much as we know that God is going to do it, we also need to remind him, and we also need to report the battles to him. He said, you have not asked. Ask until your joy is full. If God did it yesterday, he still wants you to ask again today. The devil is, is, is bad. He can, he can destroy some things. But by the time you pray, the Lord maintains it with us. The forces he is sending to take those good things away from us. It will not work. So may God help us. I want to believe this is how God wants us to uh, share today's message. May God be praised in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the grace to be here this morning. Thank you, Lord, for our prayers. Thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, I return all glory to you. Receive all praises, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, as we are going into the day, please go before us. Have your way. Take control. O Lord, it is the day of the Lord. Please give us the blessings of the Sabbath day. For the word of God has gone out that we should pray and pray and pray. Please fill us with the power of prayers. I know I noticed it ever since I have been going online praying. I see that it is the power of God that helps us to pray. Please let this power of God continue to manifest in our lives and let all the glory return to you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Uh, fill us with the power of prayers, the power to pray until we receive. In the name of Jesus. And the power of prevailing prayers. The power that doesn't leave the side of God to go and try other means while praying and waiting. Give us the spirit to wait for the answers. And give us the spirit of consistent prayers like that woman uh, that the, that Jesus used his parable, his story, her story, and says she, she was disturbing that judge until that judge pleaded her cause. And he said, we should learn from her, the way she kept praying. Give us the grace to continue to pray. Because prayer works. God answers prayers. That is the way we can talk directly to God. Please give us the spirit of prayer. The spirit that pray until we receive. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.